Hello everybody, it's time for Coffee with Bill. Let's see what kind of foolishness we can find today. Well, it looks like there's more political disaster coming down on our heads. But it looks like France has dropped their military into Afghanistan to evacuate French and British citizens who are trapped there with the murderous Taliban. But the Democrats who are in control of Washington, D.C. apparently have more important things to do than to get the Americans out. But it is rumored today that the Democrats may have been shamed into sending the 82nd Airborne to get the Americans. We can only hope. And if any of you are still Democrat voters at this stage of the game, you're a disgrace to the United States. And if you are a Christian who votes Democrat, you're even worse. Uh, David DiCrescenzo says that brain cells die, skin cells die, even hair cells die. But fat cells must have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because they seem to have eternal life. Attorney General Merrick Garland was put on the spot yesterday when he was asked if he will renew funding for the Durham probe. Now Durham is allegedly investigating the false accusations against Donald Trump where dirty FBI agents and Hillary Clinton, the Madame of Corruption, made the Russia collusion accusations. Well, Attorney General Garland is a lifelong Democrat, and that pretty much tells you what you need to know about his commitment to justice. And Durham is a good old boy Republican, and they have a long and dastardly history of letting the Democrats get away with every crime they commit. So I don't look for justice to come from either the Democrats or the Republicans, and that's one reason why I am Constitution Party, the only political party in America that still stands for liberty and justice for all. Oh, well, look at this. Joe Biden, the man who thinks he's president, has tapped Kamala Harris to repair America's tattered image. And who does Harris turn to for advice? Hillary Clinton. The most unworthy, unlikable political snake in America is going to advise the most incompetent, equally unlikable Kamala Harris on how to make America's image look better. <laughs> this is going to be like the Three Stooges Reborn. Uh, Lillian Colleen Stubbs, a longtime Facebook friend, is complaining about the two women, the, the two problems that most women seem to have. One, they have nothing to wear, and two, they have run out of room to store all their clothes. <laughs> that reminds me of the women's magazines, where half the articles are about how all men are pigs, and the other half of the articles are how to attract more men. Dr. Fauci, also known as Dr. Flip Flop, has taken over the White House Twitter account to preach more COVID masks, jabs, and lockdowns. Now, never forget that Fauci is the man who directed U.S. money to the Chinese communists to create the COVID-19 uh, virus, and, and it was somehow unleashed on Western civilization just in time to disrupt the 2020 elections. And Fauci is the Democrats' top man to stop the virus and save lives. However, it turns out that Fauci owns huge amounts of stock in the vaccine companies and they are raking in billions from these vaccines. The longer the pandemic goes on, the more money Fauci makes. So Fauci, while declaring his determination to stop COVID and save lives, has positioned himself to make huge amounts of money for as long as the pandemic continues. This is the biggest conflict of interest I have ever seen. Why is nobody calling Fauci out on that nonsense? The needle war rages on. Houston Methodist Hospital fired 150 medical workers for refusing to submit to the needle. Gee, do you think those medical professionals might know the risks? The right to refuse the vaccine has become the civil rights issue of 2021. Well, here's a picture of an old man lying on his deathbed, thinking about his life, and he says, I wish I had spent more time arguing on the internet. <laughs> you can bet I won't have that regret because I use the internet as a tool to serve as an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
It is the most effective communication tool in human history, and because I stand for God's word and his authority, I get attacked by lots and lots of trolls. So I look forward to the jousting matches on the internet where I get to speak lies against, uh, speak truth against the lies of the enemy. Oh, I'm starting to sound like Fauci. Ah. Speaking of dirty, cheating Democrats, California Governor Gavin Newsom is facing a recall election, and the envelopes for the mail-in votes are designed so that you can see the vote from the outside. And Newsom's people are stealing all of the removed Newsom votes. Whenever you are dealing with the Democrats, you are dancing with the devil. They have no honor, and there is no crime they will not commit. There is no lie that they will not tell. And Kamala Harris is campaigning for Newsom ahead of the recall vote. <laughs> oh, if there's any justice in the world, that will seal his fate. Clara Sue Levin says, So, you've been eating hot dogs, chicken nuggets, and processed meat all your life, but you won't get the shot because you don't know what's in it. Aren't you a special kind of stupid? No, Claire, we refuse the needle because we do know what's in it. And we know the malevolent people who created it and who are using Nazi tactics to try to force it on us. And by the way, Claire, you are now unfriended. Goodbye. Subway Sandwiches. I nominate Subway Sandwiches for a special Darwin Award for businesses for those who kill their business in the stupidest way possible. Subway hired Megan Rapino to be their spokesman and do their commercials. Why in the world would Subway think that a pink-haired, America-hating lesbian would make people want to buy their products? Subway is now backtracking quickly after a rebellion of Subway franchisees who are tired of apologizing to the public for Subway's idiocy. Okay, that's enough <laughs> foolishness for one day. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.